What is up, YouTube? Jonas Fatson back. Checking out Cave Blazers. This is a game from Rupek Games. They uh, th it came out on May the 24th. Uh, this is the only game that I believe, anyway, let me just confirm, that they uh, currently have on the Steam Workshop. That is correct. The premise of this game here is basically, uh, you'll see when we get through it, but it's like Spelunky meets Prince of Persia meets Dead Cells meets Isaac kind of thing. Uh, very heavy influences from Spelunky here. I got this key uh, from the developer a little while back uh, prior to the release in, in May. However, I wasn't able to play it prior to the release. I did want to put it up, but unfortunately I just didn't have enough time. Uh, there's only 24 hours in a day, so gotta do what I gotta do. Anyway, the basic premise of the game is, I had something on the screen here. Uh, you're journeying into a mysterious journey into a mysterious cave fighting orcs and goblins with an abundance of weapons and magical items gain permanent upgrades as you go in the form of blessings So anyway, um, I got about half an hour into the game here. It is a tough game. Uh, this is the Game here you can see we have a bow and arrow that we're using a right analog stick we got a quick strike here with a sword uh, and you can kind of see the uh, immediately the Spelunky influences here. Uh, and there's a bit of Rogue Legacy as well to it. With the uh, the permanent upgrades and so forth. Maybe there was something up there. Maybe I unlocked something there on one of the things. Uh, one of the things here is that there is some perks here as well. I think I'm going to go with the Adventurer perk. You start with a bomb. Um, kind of a neat little uh, minimalistic kind of look here. I did end up doing... You can see here I have like a Skyrim helmet on. So we got like a Skyrim influence. We got Metal Gear influence with the headbands here. But I kind of like the horn helmet. So one of the things here you can uh, obviously see you can... It does nothing. Maybe if we go headband and then beard. Yeah, we can get handlebar. Uh, you can see it as a minimalistic... It's my actual hair color. I got to go with the actual hair here. No bald dude. Yo, they're bald. Oh, there we go. Bald right there. Can I take this off? Yeah. Now we're starting to look like it's me. Short beard. There we go. Full beard. Don't need to worry about the hair tint. I was like, oh, we can be a shadow. Uh, I kind of liked what we had. Yeah. So this is what we're going to rock right here. Anyway, uh, before I get distracted even further, you can see that it's kind of a minimalistic uh, kind of game. Uh, luckily, there is no... I'm not going to do a daily run. Um, there's no fall damage, which is kind of nice, as far as I'm aware, anyway. Uh, so you can see here, this is kind of the caves. It is procedurally generated. And it is, it is a very tough game. Uh, one of the things that they... It feels like they've done relatively well... That was bad. Um, relatively well is kind of the AI behind the some of the enemies and so forth. And there is some some AI characters that do exist in the game that hopefully we can find. Okay, this costs us forty. Oh, you got me. Forty-seven health. I don't know what it does. Let's find out. Arvas blessing. See what it does. So you can find some of these here. Accumulate 5D on demonic orbs. I didn't get a chance to read the rest of that. I wonder if if it tells us what we got. Here we go. Accumulate five demonic orbs over time, which will be fired alongside your arrows. Uh, do we want the spiked stick? Let's see. So this is kind of the uh, one of the things you can do in the game is kind of do a little bit of an upgrade path. So right now, a steel sword does damage 9 to 11 speed is medium and it's real rusty so we probably don't want the spike stick but we may as well hang on to it for now uh, i believe there's shops in the game like i said i haven't played an absolute ton of the game so i'm not too sure i'm also not 100 percent uh this is something that i'll be playing beyond this video here uh, but I, I could definitely see it taking a spot in the lineup it, it was pretty fun, the, the couple runs that I did play with it. I really like that you can do the 45 degree angles with the arrows as well. I don't remember how to place a bomb. 
That's a little bit of a problem. Let's try to find that out together. All right, we got another blessing over here. What was this one? Okay, you you stay away. Oh, I thought I... Oh. Okay, ah, you... Oh, we're gonna die. Yeah, wall jump up. Obsidian ring. Let's find out what this does. Connective ring, which reduces the wearer's damage taken. Yeah, we'll just equip it. Uh, it would be kind of nice if it just auto-equipped if we didn't have anything equipped on our uh, on that slot. The slime jumped at me. Okay. Uh, let's use an apple. So we got some health back here. I'm going to leave that dude alone because I don't feel like dying. That is not a doorway. So this is one of the, uh, the AIs here. Uh, one of the friendly or hostile characters you can see. Uh, it's got the green aura about him, so it means that he's a friendly dude. Um, he'll stay relatively close to us, which is actually pretty good. I don't know for sure if the characters, those characters die or not, um, but it's definitely a nice thing to have. I don't think it totally stays with... I thought there was like a thing of meat there. Uh, if the NPC will stay with us for the entirety of the level, but he seems to be okay there. What is this? Chance of firing fire arrows. Get roasted. Literally. Chance of roasting. So much like any uh, sort of rogue... Oh, that was bad. Skull stick. Let's see what that does after we get rid of that dude. Thank you, NPC. We shall call you Daryl for no reason. Other than the fact you're holding up this run, much like another franchise that exists. Uh, damage. Every two kills with this weapon will increase your maximum health by one. So it heals, but it does not do a lot of damage. I think we actually need to equip... No, maybe we don't have to actually equip the bombs? How do we... Oh. How did I place the bomb, though? I must... Must have selected it in the menu. We can also walk through the spikes. Nice little touch there. Gold wand. All right, what does this do? Challenge done diversity. Use launch magic projectiles which seek nearby enemies. All right, we'll equip it. So one of the other things here as well is that there is a, uh, a magic element. Our NPC must have died on the spikes. Which you use through... How the hell do you use magic? I don't know. Equip that. Do you see that? That's some good shit. So this is the uh, exit to the next level right here, but I, I just want to do a little bit more digging. What is going on up here? Good stuff. We got Nimble Blessing, Bullseye Blessing, Blessing of Thorns. Get out of here. Uh, I don't know what Blessing of Thorns is, so let's go with this one. Kind of like a little... Um, item room, I guess. This is the word I was looking for. Oh, I see. The thing is charging as we take. So we got nine health left. Uh, not a very good first level. I, I, full disclosure, I'm not very good at the game. You've probably figured that out, though. If you played this yourself, you know it's not exactly like an easy game. Not that uh, Spelunky was easy either. It's definitely one of the games, uh, much like Isaac, Spelunky, Rogue Legacy, etc., that you need to kind of play a few times to really understand. All right, we, uh, we got slaughtered. So here's some of our progress. You can see from uh, the Rogue Legacy kind of influences here. So we got a dual wield perk. That seems like really good. So let's go continue. Oh, we got a cutscene. Phew. Finally got her finished. I've given her a couple of whirls. Seems to be working just fine again. I'm going to have to have a bit of a sit down here before heading back out into the desert, if you don't mind. What you got? I don't know what that did. It's my journal. There we go. Relics? No. Miscellaneous? Activating the Pumas Crystal will cause the entrance to lock after you enter the caves. This will stop any other adventurers following you and causing trouble. Okay, I don't know what that does. We'll find out. 
equip one additional magic item. Reduce movement speed by 10%. Reduce range speed by 10%. Ooh, that's actually like kind of a big hit on our speed. I don't know if I'm ready for that. I don't fully understand the uh, the magic aspect quite yet in terms of how it kind of works. I'm gonna get just kind of get right into another run here. Of course, because it is a roguelike, you cannot have a roguelike in 2017 without having procedural generation. Am I right? All right, get over. Okay, good stuff. All right, I'm gonna head on down. That is not an NPC. We cannot get that slime. All right. You can also parry some of the attacks here as well, which is actually kind of oddly satisfying to do. There we go, we got that guy. Oh, thank you for not coming into the freaking. There we go. I missed what that one was. Grants you three additional bombs. Bombs explosion may produce something, something, something. What what was it? Where are you? Blessings. Bomb explosions now produce a number of magical projectiles. All right. Hit the jewels this way. Oh, you're still spewing out. Dude, the slot machine's paying out right here. Um, there is some shops in the game that we will obviously want to find. Ah, uh, that guy hit me twice. Not really super proud of that. Just get rid of the bats. There we go. Uh, there are some shops anyway, is what I was going to say. Not much I'm interested in over there, so I'm not going to use a bomb. I have a feeling just like Spelunky, there are characters or something you need to get to the exit to kind of unlock certain things. I think we got kind of lucky not to get hit there. All right, just ranged attack all of this. There we go, There, there's a parry. That's what I was talking about. Okay, it still hit me. These guys are gonna come up here. They'll figure this out. Come on. There, oh, you jumped behind me. You phased. That NPC was playing some Dead Cells, got the phase skill. Uh, spike stick, probably not worth it. I think you can sell them in the shop, but to be honest, we may not even reach one. Although I would kind of like to get a little bit further on this one here. There we go, spike stick. Again, not really worth it. All right, we got a better bow here. Fire bow. Let's get back up here. Five to seven, four to six, and a 15% chance. That seems pretty good. So what do we want here? Magic bomb, twofold blessing, fiery arrow blessing. I think what we want is the fiery arrow because we have the fire bow. We just shot like six in a row. Uh, what is chance of firing fire arrow? So now we have the fire bow with fiery arrows i don't know what uh that actually looks like in terms of reality yeah we got a couple there it looks like it's maybe about i don't know one in four give or take of a shot for a fiery shot but if it does like significantly more damage or dot then it's probably worth it we just got to see if it procs this is a large slime Please don't hit me. Journal entry, large slime. I called it blessing of the arrow light. Double jump. Gives your arrows a slight homing effect. That seems pretty good. So we're definitely running like a uh, altar. Start to view. What does this do? Arsenal platforms once had a particular magic property, the power to combine two items to create a massively superior item. The effect occurs when two identical items are placed on the surface of the altar and works with most weapons along with certain other items. I see. So, I didn't even know you could drop items on it. So if we get another recursive bow, or another, actually just any kind of weapon, um, we will definitely be checking that out. They actually, like, the homing effect is not insignificant 
146 G. We have 247. Sure. And that healed us. Uh, I actually kind of like that. So taking a stab in the dark and saying just like any other roguelike you play, they'll, the uh, statues, the altars, and so forth all have positive and negative. All right. We got a potion. Consumable. What does this do? Plus two melee damage? That's really good. I think. Where's our stat screen? So nine plus two. Yeah, I guess. Actually, that's a really big increase. That's like a 20% increase there. All right. I don't want to fall on the spikes. That. I got to figure out how to deal with these guys. I think you have to like use ranged. Okay, just freaking. Yeah, that's what we got to. What is this over here? Transmorgifications. Oh, you got freaking bows, dude. Oh my god, that guy almost killed us alone. Uh, let's see what this does. Converts up to five nearby objects to gold does not include living things. All right. Makes sense. Bomb is not that bad. We should pick up the spike stick so we can see if we can use it in the shrine. To be honest, uh, I kind of wish I had another shrine that we could put some money into. Get on fire. I wonder if the fire spreads. There we go. The combat is actually oddly tight for being such kind of like a, a pixel-y game. And I do actually play probably more pixel games than I really should on the channel. Um, I don't know why that is. I just kind of like the pixel atmosphere, but Ooh, a gold wand. We had that on the last uh, run here as well. So we still don't have any duplicates, but that's fine. But yeah, no, the, uh, the combat actually feels pretty intuitive. Uh, I actually just tried. Oh, God. Don't let the slimes jump on you. Do we have an apple still? We do have an apple. Use the freaking apple, dude. You don't want to die when you're sitting with like the ability to heal yourself. I would like to clarify that I hit him. Get all this money. You can try to get through there. Another little shrine here. A reflex lens? Sure. It's an item shrine. Come down. Oh, you freaking... I can't believe it. All right, we're going to do one more. Unlock the small white mask. Nice. Let's just restart. We don't need to go back to our uh, main area there. I'm just going to check this blessing really quick. Blessing of learning. Enemies have a chance of dropping an item. That seems like it could be pretty good. Okay, let's play this one a little bit smarter. Don't just go rushing in. Although I didn't rush in, that guy kind of found me. So it's one of the thing with the game too that I've noticed in the uh, about 30 minutes, like I said before, that I played uh, the enemy pathfinding and um, just general AI is kind of relentless. What you got going on here? 47 G. That might be a uh, a full heal again. So we should maybe leave it for now. And in the event that we need it, we have it like right there. You need to you jump. See, that's what I'm talking about. Like even the bats are like smarter than me at this game. You grab this. What is this? Demon room. I like the sounds of that. Oh, that was not good. Okay, don't use your arrows. The second apple is actually huge right now. So I'm going to use one. And what is this? You, sorry, usable. Steals 10 of your health, but increases your maximum health by 20. Let's do it. 
That actually seems pretty good. Skull stick. What's the damage in this? Three to five. All right. Still doing better with their standard, but if we can get, um, hopefully, maybe another altar. See, like, where did this dude come? You hit me. You hit me. All right, come up here. Nice parry. Kind of wish the parry stunned a little bit, though. Okay, I gotta use my other apple. This game is not as look as easy as I'm making it look. It's not that easy. Truthfully, I'm probably making this look a lot harder than it is. There's probably a better strat to use those guys to open up more of the level, but I am not that advanced at this point. Come on. There we go. We got him. These guys are like, where are we getting shot from? I have no idea. Okay, I was not paying attention. Stay away from me, please. No. We did it. Resurrection Wisp. Let me just see what... Use this little fella to resurrect the nearest dead adventurer to 50% health. Okay. Uh, let's go Judgment Blessing. Killing two enemies will increase your maximum health by one. That seems like not that bad. Well, we just took 11 hit. Oh my god. So now we have a way to uh, kind of regenerate health, but I'm just going to quickly go back to that shrine that was like 47 gold, I think. There we go. The... Uh, so a couple of the points while I'm kind of going back here real quick. Uh, I do like the atmosphere of it. I do think it's a little simplistic. Uh, I get that it's kind of intended to be so. Um, what I mean is that I kind of wish that there was a little bit more... Oh, that didn't heal us. Reduce the explosion damage dealt to yourself by 50. Cool. All right. Uh, I wish there was a little bit more going on in terms of the level. Uh, it's a little... I don't want to say basic, but... Like, as an example, like at the top right here, there's a lot going on. Uh, it kind of looks like a little hideout for goblins and so forth, but the rest of it, it feels very uh, procedurally generated. Um, which I get... You stupid slime. I don't have any health. Um, but it's not necessarily like a bad thing, but I kind of wish that like this right here... Uh, this is a little unappealing just to have like these giant, not clear gray rocks, but just gray rocks that are just kind of like there. I'm going to try to use a bomb here like that. All right, just take just range to attack the shit out of good parry, good parry. I kind of wanted to see what was over here. I don't think I'm going to use two bombs, though. Um, but, like, in the background there, there's there's not much going on. Uh, it's very clear that there's a foreground and a background, which is nice. Um, and, and this may only be that it's the caves. I haven't really seen much else in the game, to be honest. Only because I can't actually get through the caves. There is some boss fights here as well. Um... Ooh, a new bow. Don't mind if I do. Hollowed bow. The, uh, it seems pretty much exactly the same, other than they're maybe faster. So there's lots of weapons, which... Okay. There were spikes there. Ooh, we got a wizard's hat. We should definitely equip that. Let's go back to this real quick. Give up kit? I'm not gonna give up. Go hold you. No. So I do kind of like the... Yeah, there we go. Now we're a wizard. You're a wizard. Okay. Kid, get off my platform. Can't actually kill this dude. All right. Um, 
but even kind of in this like hub world here it, it did kind of grow like this area here our progress was shown we're at 10 percent here but i kind of wish that the the graphics so speaking uh just to kind of touch on some of the core features that you look for in a game um first and foremost the, the gameplay uh, i think is really solid it, it's tough but in a lot of cases it's not unfair for the most part on the runs that we we did uh we died because i died not that the game was unfair in any way uh it was me so i gotta take full credit on that and that, that's a sign of a good game if it's tough uh, and you die and it's your own fault you can kind of go back and go okay i know what i did wrong you can say what am i doing what could i do better uh graphics i do actually like the main character design i like the npc character design the enemies for the most part it's kind of that minimalistic pixel thing that i was kind of mentioning before um, but i kind of wish that the the level itself was a little bit more uh detailed if that makes sense in a even if it were in a minimalistic kind of way but like the background here there's not much going on with it to be honest the first time i kind of walked in this room i didn't even realize that these were part of the foreground or part of the uh, playing field so that to me was kind of like this may be not such a great sign they, they could have popped a little bit more maybe with like the color of the rope that's right here rather than this little bit of a darker brown not the biggest thing so that, that's kind of a minor grip i really do like the look of the fires though uh, i think these are spot on in terms of sound uh the sound in the music is is great you can hear the bow sounds pretty good swinging of the sword sounds fine the, the npcs this, overall the sound is exactly what I, I kind of expected from it i wonder if there is no i was i was wondering if there was maybe like a sound test or something we can go through the music for the fo for the most part sounded okay uh and then the last is kind of the what was i gonna say talked about gameplay graphics audio um i think maybe just like the overall experience i think it's a good game uh, otherwise i probably wouldn't be putting it on the channel um actually that doesn't matter i played a lot of shitty games that still ended up on here i do enjoy it i think i'm going to come back to it probably play it on twitch i think there might be some twitch integrations or they were coming anyway i think i remember reading it for the most part this is probably worth your money just go back i'm just going to go back to the main menu here real quick there we go now we have music sitting in front uh, I'm just looking up real quick. I think this game is like 12 or $10, uh, $10.99 Canadian. So definitely not that, not that expensive. I think it's, it's worth the money. Um, from what I've seen so far, you're definitely getting your money's worth on it. I think they, people have said it's probably about 30 to 50 hours on the whole game to, to kind of unlock everything. I have, um, at this point, probably about an hour in and yeah, you can see there's lots of challenges to go through. In typical roguelike fashion, each one of these will likely unlock something else in the character or in the end uh, up for the character in the game. Um, let's see some of the leaderboards here. I don't know what the leaderboards is for. Apparently, I'm ranked 15,000th, though. I don't know. It could be for the daily runs. There are some on there. But uh, yeah, overall, good experience. Needs a, I think. The only gripe is maybe just a little bit of graphical polish, but other than that, gameplay is solid. Audio fits the game really well, uh, and overall, it's, it's a good experience. If you uh, if you enjoyed the video, uh, or if it looks like a game that you'd be into, check the description of the video below. I will have the Steam link below. Again, this is a game uh, made by Rupak Games, so be sure to check it out. You can also go to caveblazers.com believe and it has more informations there it has more informations there or just check it on steam like i said uh, if you like what you saw though feel free to give me a like and a sub it means the world to me i can also be found on twitter twitter.com slash jonas fatson or on twitch at twitch.tv slash jonas fatson thanks for tuning in to cave blazers i will see you on the flip side peace out